Hey everybody, welcome into Old Mountain Bricks. Today we're taking a look at set number 75573, the Floating Mountain Site 26 in RDA Samson, containing 887 pieces. This set was released in 2022 and is now a retired Lego set. It was on the shelves for about a year or so. This one, of course, is based off the movie Avatar, the first Avatar movie, and contains a number of fun minifigures, especially the Avatar characters with the extended legs, which we'll take a closer look at in a second. What we are going to do today, I am going to do a quick time lapse speed build of the set itself. I'll give you some of my thoughts on the details of the build process and then we'll go over some of my overall thoughts on the set. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open and take a look. It contains a number of eight bags separated in different sets as you'll see here along with that little string, a little horse, and the instruction manuals and a small sticker sheet. But let's get building. As it comes together, of course, you build it in kind of three separate parts. This does have the instructions as far as build with friends, so each section is its own instruction booklet. Uh, the first one you start in is the actual trailer, or Site 26, and that, of course, was the funnest part of the build for myself, as that's one of the main reasons I picked up this set. But it's, you know, a number of gray pieces. I like the highlight of the yellow accents, made it was a little bit more fun. Um, it was a little repetitive in spots, but overall, it was still nice to put together. As we get on to the next part here in just a moment um i noticed that these kind of sets always seem like they should be smaller sets and cheaper rather than putting more things in one i would have much rather had like the trailer than the helicopter as two separate sets rather than together so of course we build this mountain piece that uses those clear extender pieces like we've seen a few other sets these days the helicopter or the samson as it's called on the set was fun to put together as well again no groundbreaking techniques um but i still enjoyed it as kind of a separate build on its own like I was saying I feel like it should have just been separate altogether but overall I think this was a fun set to put together I think the mountains could have had a little bit more for something like this let's go ahead and finish this thing up and take a look at it okay and here is the avatar set the floating mountain site 26 and RGA Samson aka trailer helicopter thing little piece of mountain and minifigures. Uh, the main reason I wanted this set, it was on sale for like 30 or 40% off, but also I liked this little trailer thing and we'll take a closer look at that in just a second. Let us start with the minifigures. Here are the five minifigures plus horse thing. The avatar minifigures are really cool, of course, because they do utilize these taller legs. You can see it next to a regular minifigure. This one over here is the avatar of Norm. This one is Grace Augustine. This is Jake Sully in avatar form. This is Trudy, and that is Jake Sully in his human form. And then the cool horse type mold there. You can see this is a special mold. It has like the six legs and the extra pieces to get those little antenna tangle things off of there. I just think it looks really cool, and it's just a really special mold for this so I do appreciate that but we'll put them over to the side here nothing too crazy with Norm there just printing on his torso but nothing on the legs of course they do have the special head mold which are bigger that have like the molded ears and of course the hair piece with like the ponytail on it as we turn around you can see it has like the three holes for the legs on the back instead of the two Grace does have the dual molded legs and you can see they do have the tail pieces, of course. Those are like a rubber type piece. Jake Sully has printing on his legs there. That one has like her face paint and like the headset for doing the helicopter. Jake just has plain legs and like a little stained sweaty t-shirt as he always just is in the little bed thing for most of it there. He does have the air mask on at the moment, but let's take some hair off and I'll show you the back of him. Okay, and there's Trudy's reverse face, just a little smile. Grace has like the air mask as well. I took uh, his hair off just so you can kind of see that there's nothing really there. And then Jake just has a little smile there. Of course, he does come with his cool wheelchair. It can roll along there, of course, as well. Let's take a quick look at the Samson, the little helicopter type thing. It does come with the printed dish element there for like the windscreen, which is always nice. I put Trudy inside. Just one of the pilot levers right there. There's a little sticker piece on each side. It is like the wrong background color in that dark gray, but cool to have the little tiger on the side. These are sticker details up here to kind of get the blue paint that she puts on it. 
There's the other one. Of course, these can articulate and they have the propellers on them so you can kind of spin all of them around if you really want to there. So that's always neat. There are stud shooters right here as well. Oh, gone forever. Looking underneath, you can kind of see the propellers there, uh, a little space to put like a character or so right in there. It is kind of more uh, minifigure human scale rather than the avatar scale. If we put Jake in there, he's not gonna be able to stand in there. Some fun techniques used in order to kind of get some of these angles. Um, but overall, it looks quite nice. The other fun thing you can do with this is it does come with this floating mountain piece with like the clear piece in between. These are some of those fun like fluorescent flowers and everything. So it was kind of a fun build. It's kind of unique. You can see kind of like this little flex tube kind of coming down and some roots. You can attach that helicopter right up there. It seems a little strange for the connection point. I don't know if I did that right, but it's, I mean, it's balanced, so I guess it's working. I guess you can put it like that, but it looks like it's more of sitting on the mountain with this one. But again, that's just kind of the fun of this set there, but kind of cool. The main thing I was interested in was Site 26 here, which AKA this little trailer. I wish I kind of came with a cable to attach it because I feel like they do that in the movie if I remember. But we've got a nice printed piece out front here with kind of the keypad, a little wheelchair accessible ramp, but you know, it's a little steep, but I'm sure he can make it up there. I like this door piece with this window glass, makes it look pretty industrial. It's got like the hydraulics on the side and I like the printed pieces right there and just an extra little greebling to make it look a little better. The roof does come off just like this, it is kind of attached to the back wall, which I thought was interesting, but maybe that's for some better access, but you can see some of the build technique there. So we'll spin this around so you can see inside. It does have a little sticker detail there of Jake using the machine, a little one over there for his little uh, video logs he does, and, a little... and this is the little avatar link bed, but a little printed piece right there with some like dials on it and you can of course get him inside there and off to sleep and then he gets to be avatar jake Woo i'm gonna put this maybe in my nature area as that's kind of one of the themes of avatar obviously but overall a fun looking set again i got it on a pretty good discount otherwise i don't think i would have picked this up so if you see it on a discount it might be worth getting if it's not retired already i know that most of the avatar sets didn't do very well even though i think they are fun looking and some very interesting pieces and molds and everything but i guess just not for everybody in lego form even though the movies are top notch um, but i think this is going to look great in our lego city and we'll find a place for the little helicopter but it's fun to have some of these mini figures of course as well as one of the main other factors of this set but of course i think that will do it for today so of course if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like down below as it helps the channel out and until next time i appreciate you coming by old mountain bricks today have a good one.